All right, thank you guys for being on the call. Let me um, go to mute everybody. Then I'm gonna unmute, uh, I think Dylan and Stacy. So tonight's call, I had asked some people what they wanted, you know, some training topics that they wanted. And they said it would be helpful if we could role play a three-way call to see how we do them. And then also if we could role play how we answer certain questions or how we reply to people when we get certain comments. So tonight's training is going to be a little different. Um, plus I have my friend Lark here. She is, say hi Lark. She's an ambassador. She's in from Colorado. She was on Zoom on her phone and I'm like, oh, you can just sit here. <laughs> um, so it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to try this role play thing. Uh, you know, I've done the three-way calls on the phone before, so we'll see how it goes here live. And then for the Q&A, several of you on the call already have answers ready that you want to ask. But if anybody else uh, be thinking about any question that maybe you get from people that you're not sure how to answer, you know, a lot of times we'll hear people say things like, well, I'm just going to eat healthy and go to the gym. Or I'm already on a probiotic. Um, so anything like that, and then we're going to kind of role play how we would answer them. And it's going to be off the cuff, um, so be thinking of that. The three-way calls, the reason we push those so much, they've just been really, really effective, and people are loving them. I still think, though, some people might be afraid to do them, or maybe they think they're a sales call. But, you know, everybody who buys Plexus, they want to have success on our products. That's why they buy them. They want results. And the best thing we can do for them is to get them going correctly in the beginning, helping them with how they take their products, letting them know what to expect about die off and detox. And even though we might do that in an email or a voice message over Facebook, we might tag them in videos, not everybody learns the same way. And I've had so many people on the phone call tell me, oh yeah, I got that chart, I didn't pay any attention to it, or oh yeah, I got that email, I didn't read it. And so just having that personal connection on the phone makes a huge difference. Plus, it's going to save you time later on follow-up and troubleshooting. We've even had people on these phone calls disclose health issues and medications that they didn't think to tell us about when they were, you know, working with their sponsor on what they should order. And so they, they've just been a great, great tool for us. So I think um, Dylan and Stacy. You guys are going to be the new ambassador and the sponsor, and I'm going to be the upline, right? Sounds good. All right. We did not practice this, so here we go. Not at all. <laughs> off the cuff. It's off the cuff. That's right. All right. So this is not scripted or anything. So here we go. So, so am I starting like, hi, Dylan, this is Stacy, or yes. can we pretend? Yeah. Sorry, okay. let's my child here. Hang on. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, are you ready now? I'm ready. Hey, Dylan, this is Stacy. I'm glad you took a chance to, or took the opportunity to talk to me uh, tonight. I have Amy Welch. She's our upline. Um, and we like to do these three-way calls with folks to help you get started on the products and just make sure you have all the information you need. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing good. I'm excited to get started. I'm really excited too. Um, I always even just get excited when I see a welcome pack. So have you gotten your welcome pack yet? I have. I haven't even opened it yet. Oh my gosh, there's so much good stuff in it. Um, I'm sure Amy and I can talk a little bit about that tonight. Um, so yeah, but Amy, do you want to say hi? Yeah, hi Dylan, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Hey, so I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to be on this call. It's not going to take very long at all. But we have just found that when people order Plexus for the first time, it is a big um, help to just get you guys get you on the phone, explain the products, if you have any questions, you know. And even though I'm sure Stacy, if she hasn't already, she's going to send you an email with instructions. We just find that it's easier to get people on the call um, when they're brand new. Uh, so, what did you what did you order, Dylan? I got the triplex. The triplex? Okay. Yeah. And have you tried plexus before at all? No. Okay. So the triplex is three products. It's the slim, which is the pink drink, the bio cleanse, and the probiotic. And what we do on the triplex, we're going to start you off one product at a time. 
And we do that for a few reasons. One, we don't want to shock your system into too many products at once. Two, you know, if you started all three and you got a headache, we wouldn't really know what caused the headache. And three, we really want you to be in tune with how your body feels and reacts on each one. And then certainly not everybody needs the same regimen. We're all different. And since Plexus is not a diet or a weight loss product, we're not a one size fits all. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do for a couple days, you're gonna wanna take your pink drink and you're just gonna do the pink drink for about three or four days. Does that sound good? It sounds good. Can I have my coffee? Oh, you sure can. So, you know, a lot of people think they have to stop their coffee, and you don't. What you will find, though, is that you may not need your coffee like you used to. I was somebody who didn't think I had a problem with coffee, and there was no way I was going to stop drinking it. And after being on Slim for a while, I didn't need my two pots of black coffee a day. So what you want to do, though, is you want to take Slim first thing in the morning before you have any food. Um, so you can have your coffee first if you want, and then you can have your Slim. The reason, okay. the reason we have you do Slim before you eat anything is, right, Slim was developed for diabetics. to help balance those blood sugars. Even people who are within healthy ranges, as you eat food th throughout the day, you still spike and dip. So the sooner you can get those blood sugars balanced in the morning before you eat, the better. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, and go ahead, Stacey. Well, I was going to say the other thing, Dylan, is that when um, sometimes people who start the slim about a half an hour after they take it, they get a little nauseous if they don't eat. If you find that happening, just eat some protein. Okay, perfect. Yep. And so, you know, to mix it up, you just going to, a lot of people um, say it clumps if you add cold water. So what I do is I just add a little bit of water in a bottle or a shaker cup. I add the packet in, and then I add cold water right from the refrigerator, and I shake it up. Um, so let Stacy know after you taste it what you think. A lot of people love the taste of it. Some people add lime juice to it. Um, some people like a lot of water. Some people like a little water. So just let Stacy know. And then after a few days, if you're feeling great on the Slim, you're actually going to add in the BioClean, okay? Um, and you're just going to start with one, and you're going to take it with your Slim in the morning. That. Okay. Okay. Now, the BioCleanse, I hate the name of it because it makes people think that it's that diet pill from like the 90s that has gas with oily discharge, and it's not. Um, I actually wish they would change the name of it. BioCleanse has some great um, properties to it. One, it will help keep you regular. So I'm not sure how your bowel movements are. You're probably wondering why am I talking about bowel movements. <laughs> okay. um, but it's really important. Uh, we want to make sure things are moving. That's why we do the BioCleanse first. Um, we want to make sure things are moving as they should because once we add our probiotic as an antifungal, we don't want to start killing off any of that bad yeast if you're not moving regularly. The other okay. thing BioCleanse does, though, it actually helps to release the toxins from your intestinal tract and your colon. So most of us are walking around with about five to seven pounds of toxins in our, in our colon. It can hold up to 23, which I, poor, the poor person that has 23 pounds that they're walking around with. But so, uh, so BioCleanse helps to kind of get that moving too and release those toxins. It also has other properties. It oxygenates our bodies at the cellular level, and it also supports, supports collagen production. Um, it gives some people an energy boost from all of that. So you're going to do BioCleanse for a couple days. If everything's feeling good, you're going to add a second BioCleanse in the afternoon. You just want to take it on an empty stomach, okay? Okay. Is this something I should do only like on a weekend, or is it something I can start on during the week when I'm working? Yeah, no, you can start during the week. It's not something that you're going to be stuck in the bathroom or, you know, by the toilet, um, which is why I wish they changed their name. Now, certainly, we'll talk here in a minute with the probiotic. You might have some stool, but it's not anything that you can't leave the house, okay? Okay. Now, for BioCleanse, though, Stacy's going to be checking in with you pretty often in your first month, month and a half. That's not to bug you. That's because we really need to know how you're feeling so we can tell what regimen's going to work best for you right? Some people need four BioCleanse and they take them all in the morning. Some people just need two. But unless we're checking in with you and you're telling us how you feel, the good, the bad, and the ugly, we're not really going to know. 
Okay. Right. And Dylan, one of the things I like to tell other people, and I know I've already told you this before, when you sign with Plexus, you really do get that personalized like health coach because I see it as my responsibility to support you in getting healthy. And so I'm in contact a lot because I want to make sure that I'm giving you the support that you need. Sounds good. I'm ready to have energy. Yes, we are excited for you. So with the bio cleanse, I like to take mine between like three and four in the afternoon because I do get that extra energy boost. Some people though, they can't remember or they're at work and they like to take theirs at night. So it really is what's gonna work best for you. So BioCleanse is one you can kind of play around with the timing. You just wanna take it on an empty stomach. And, and then, so once you've been on the BioCleanse for a few days, then you're gonna add one probiotic and you're gonna take that at night. Have you taken probiotics before? Um, I have in the past, like the powdered kind that you keep in the fridge. Okay, so ours is a little bit different than that. Ours is the only one that contains an antifungal. And so even if you have taken probiotics forever, you still only want to start on just one of ours. And that's okay. because of that antifungal. Okay, so you're going to start in just one, and you're going to take it at night. And then you're going to wait a few more days, and then you're going to increase to two. You're going to wait a few more days, and assuming you feel good and everything's good, then you're going to increase all the way up to three. And I'll tell you why we do that. This is when Stacy's really going to be checking in with you to see how you're feeling and how your symptoms of your yeast overgrowth are coming. Whether you, like you said, you need energy, she can check and see how your cravings are, weight loss, sleep, headaches, anything like that. And that's gonna tell us how many probiotics you need to be on. Some people are totally fine at one. People like me, I have to be on four because my carb cravings are just out of control. I've tried to be on three, I've tried to be on two, but for me, four is the magic number. We're not gonna know that though, unless we start you off low and slowly increase you, okay? Okay, sounds good. Okay. Um, now, have you ever heard of die-off? No. Okay, so die-off is not specific to plexus. Whenever your body gets rid of the candida or the bad yeast, whether it's through like an anti-candida diet or an antifungal like our probiotic, some people might have die-off symptoms, and I like to give everyone a heads up about this because there's no way for us to predict we're going to have die-off, um, so we like to let everybody know. You might, um, so some of the die-off symptoms, you might have a headache, you might kind of feel like you're coming down with a cold or the flu, you might have um, loose stool or some stomach cramping, and I know it sounds bad, but it's one of those like necessary evils. Um, where your body is ridding itself of those toxins. So it has to happen. It tells us it's working. Somebody the other day told me it was kind of like when you're pregnant and you have morning sickness, that's just a sign of good pregnancy, even though nobody wants morning sickness. Um, so if that happens, let Stacy know. You know, this isn't something to where if you feel like crap, don't think she's going to be offended because we love Plexus. You've got to let her know because we can help you through die-off, okay? Okay, sounds good. You described it perfectly. Yeah. And I don't want to scare anybody, um, but that's, you know, just like to give everybody a heads up. The most important thing, though, if you think you're in die-off, do not stop your probiotic. Let Stacy know right away, and she can help you adjust your dosage so it's not as severe, but you don't want to stop it, because then that's like starting the whole process over. Okay. okay. That's right, Dylan. I want to know as soon as you like feel bad, I want to know immediately because I then can tell how long it's been going, how severe it is, and we can figure out, okay, is this die off? Are you getting a cold? Um, what's going on? Because everybody's <gasps> body is different. Okay, I can do that. <gasps> okay, great. Um, now, did you join um, for the discount, or are you interested in the business? Um, I'm actually, I was thinking about possibly if I have success doing the business. I mean, I wouldn't want to promote something until I know for sure that it's going to work. Sure, sure. Totally understand that. Um, so, a couple things. One, we love our wholesale ambassadors. We actually, that's the majority. We've got about, I don't know, 2,000 people on the team, and about 1,500 of them are only in it for the discount. Um, in fact, most of us, though, started saying we weren't going to sell, um, myself included, even Stacy. 
Um, but one thing I want to—I like to tell everyone about, if Stacy hasn't already, she's going to add you to our team page on Facebook. It's called the Pink Rock Stars. Are, are you in that yet? Uh, I believe she did add me. Okay, so you may have already seen it. Okay. Yeah, she wanted me to turn off the notifications. Okay. Or to, That's yeah. right. So you're going to see in that group a ton of posts about working the business and incentives and contests and people ranking. That is not to pressure you. Okay, that is for those of us working the business. But for our wholesalers, the reason we put you in this group for a couple of reasons. One, we do post a lot of product information in there. And in the files, you can find videos on every single product that goes into tons of detail, probably more detail than you ever wanted to know. Um, so that's in there. The other thing, though, you can also search the group for any keywords. So maybe if you suffered from migraines and you wanted to see if there's anyone else who suffers from migraines and what their regimen is and how long it took them to feel better, you could search for that in the group. And then the other thing is it's just a support for you. Like Stacy said, we all want you to have success on the products. If you ever can't get a hold of her or me and you have a question, you can post it in the group, and I promise you somebody will answer it for you. Okay? Okay, sounds good. Okay, now if you ever do want to get your products for free though, it's pretty easy. And you know, I understand wanting to wait until you have results, but we have a lot of products um, that give people immediate relief, such as like our pain relief line is kind of like an all natural Tylenol. So as you're, you know, in your just regular life, if somebody's asking you, hey Dylan, you're awful chipper this morning, or hey, I noticed you're really happy lately, and you start sharing Flexus, don't hesitate to reach out to Stacy, and she can help you, you know, if you even have just a couple people that are interested, okay? Okay, I'll do that. I'm an oversharer, so I'm sure that'll happen. Okay. <laughs> Stacy, what do you think? Did I forget anything? Do you have any questions, Dylan? Um, I think y'all covered everything pretty well. Um, I'll, I'll be in touch with Stacy if I come up with any questions. Thank you so much for the phone call. All Thank right. you. I'm really excited. I can't wait um, to hear even how your first day goes. I think you're just going to love it. So I'm excited. I'm good. Well, I'm excited too, and I'll let you know. All right. Thank you. Nice talking thank to you. you. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. And that's how – now, everyone does their three-way calls differently. That doesn't mean what we just did there is what you have to do. Um, but do you see kind of how easy they are and kind of the support and what'd you guys think? How long did that take? Uh, it was maybe 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we're about 15. Okay. I have to tell you the one thing, sorry for the random video tour. I am single parenting tonight like you and just got home from dance. So, um, but one of the things that I always find, and I think Sarah can speak to this too, Sarah Cunningham, is that when we get on the phone for these three-way calls, we are talking to people about all kinds of things. Um, because everybody, t like as soon as you get on the phone, people are like, oh my God, I hope this works. And then they tell you like, you know, why they hope it works. And it really um, is valuable to the process because it gives you that backstory about who's doing what. And it gives you information that maybe you don't get in the beginning. Um, for example, Sarah and I were on a call the other day with one of our wholesale ambassadors who's nursing and um, Sarah and I spent like 15 minutes just talking her through like nursing support because she didn't know anybody else that had nursed. Oh, wow. and those are the kind of things that happen on these calls that you don't expect, but really it just adds so much richness and value to the entire like plexus way because you're just building that network and that community. Yeah, and you know, the other thing we, did, we didn't touch on on that call that I forgot was talking about the expectation. Yeah, that's what I was going to mention was like yeah. I've noticed that um, giving people realistic expectations and telling them to give it at least 60 days and letting them know it's not a quick fix and going over that several times has helped a lot, especially yeah. with people giving up too soon. And it's something about telling them that in person versus just like an email mm -hmm. or a message that... In fact, if, if, if in fact, when you kind of have them say, you know, okay, so you're gonna you're gonna do this for sixty days, and they're like, okay, and I think you're right, they're less likely to stop too soon. Yeah. All right. So, if anybody doesn't have any other thoughts about the three-way call, we were going to now for the next, you know, 
20, you know, 15, 20 minutes, do some role playing for questions. And so I think to keep this kind of organized, if anybody has a question, unmute yourself. I will respond first for how I would answer, and then anybody else can jump in. Because like I said, just because I answer, it doesn't mean it's the only way or even the right way. Um, got a question here. Oh, so if they are interested in the business, good question. So Emily asked if they're interested in the business. Um, because we've typically been on the call for a while already, I will usually ask them if they want to continue talking about the business or if we want to set up a specific call. Because like Dylan, you've had some people where we've done like just talking specifically about the business. Yes. And so that's a good question. What I do for that quick call to go over the business, I talk about um, their list making to reach out to three to five people, getting them to silver right away, posting, and then I really focus on um, letting them know that we're here to help them in the beginning and they don't have to know everything before they start sharing because a lot of people feel like they have to learn all the products and know how to recommend them and they're afraid to ask their upline. So I always tell them, like, you're never, ever going to bother us if you send us messages all day long sort of a thing. That's kind of what, what I do. Um. Yeah, and sometimes, Dylan, like in the three-way, I'm not saying to Dylan, I don't know who asked the question, never mind, but <laughs> sometimes in the three-way calls, Dylan, you ask the question, or when asked about the business, you said, well, I want to make sure it works first. Yeah, because that's but, the number one thing I hear. Yeah, and so for me, it's like, well, I there's no point in, like, telling someone how to work the business if they're not going to post and pursue it for a week or two. Yeah. Uh, so, so I will, like, you know, follow up and just stay in close contact with them about it. And once I get, like, that sense that they're, they're ready to start taking action, then I, I do other things like maybe another call, get them on the phone or um, I'm in constant contact with them via messenger or chat or whatever. Right. Yeah. Okay. Any yeah, those are the most exciting calls when they're ready to start working the business. Those are exciting. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's go to some other questions. Who wants to shoot the first one out? Don't be shy. Well, I think the bottom line, the number one question is, it's too expensive. So we might as well just start there. Too expensive. You know, I thought that too in the beginning. I thought I couldn't afford it. But it's really only a couple dollars a day. And I know for me, I was spending way more than that in coffee. And I'm even talking just regular coffee out of my pot. I was drinking so much. Um, so I, it's... You know, all of our products are between 25 and 50 bucks, um, or 25 and 60 bucks. So really, it just depends on which product is gonna work for you and which customer option, but they really are not expensive when it's really just, you know, a couple bucks a day. Anybody else? I think, you know, a lot of times if you, if you relate to them, like, oh, well, I thought that too. Like, I totally know where you're coming from as opposed to them just saying, oh, they're expensive, and you're like, no, they're not. I think just relating and making that connection um, is a big one. Because a lot of times they think they're expensive, but they really don't know. They've not even looked at it, or maybe that we've not even recommended a product. Um, and then for me, I don't assume I know anybody's financial situation. Like, I get it. There are people that legit will not afford a $100 um, triplex. But I also know that a lot of people, they afford what they want to afford. Um, so I try not to project that they're too expensive onto people. You know what I mean? Right. One of the things that um, I find helpful is that instead of, um, like I do when I first started, like, you know, working the business and someone would say it's too expensive, I would immediately go to, but yeah, think about all that you'll give up. You'll give up pop, you'll give up Starbucks, blah, 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 blah. And then people would come back sometimes and be like, I don't drink pop. I don't use Starbucks. And so now when I hear, um, you know, that, that kind of issue, I come back with, you know, 
you know, every, everything has a cost, but, and then I switch directions and I go to, but let's talk a little bit about the habits you'd like to break to be healthy. And I get them to tell me what the habits are that they'd like to break to be healthy. Um, because then that's where you can kind of help them realize that um, they can probably afford the product if they give up, you know, fast food lunches three days a week or whatever. Yeah. Um, so it's really also gathering information from them so that, so that you can help them, um, you know, see how to balance that choice. Yeah. And you're right. It really is about listening to them and really letting them do a lot of the talking. And for some people like me, I was drinking Starbucks. I think my first month I saved like a ridiculous amount just on Starbucks. I'm talking close to a hundred dollars. However, if somebody had told me I was going to save money on Starbucks before I started Plexus, I'd have said, no way. I'm not giving up my Starbucks. Um, you know what I mean? So you really, you want to listen, like Stacy said, and just hear kind of what they're saying and what their goals are. Um, somebody asked, how do you go about giving samples to get people's interest? Someone else will have to answer this. I am stingy. I don't give samples. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Amy. I don't give a ton of samples, like, um, but it works for a lot of people. And maybe I should give samples. So. There's a good video. Molly Orr built her business in the beginning on seven. Well, I say she built it on samples. She built it on the seven day sample pack, but she made people buy them. Um, I just think, you know, samples are good for taste. And then you have to get that person's information and follow up with them. That's the key. So does anybody on the call do a lot of samples and get, you know, how do you do that? I have given out samples for people that, I am talking to that are not near me. I'll send them samples. Uh, I have a massage therapist who requests samples for her and her husband. And I told her it's going to be more for the taste mm -hmm. than you're than feeling anything. And she's still like, okay, I'll take the samples. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that being in the business that she is in, that by giving that sample and her tasting it, um, it'll drive more business. Well, and yeah, and you definitely, certainly, I know with samples, I've heard people say you have to follow up the next day. You got to ask them, like, how'd you like it? And it's like, oh, I didn't take it. Okay, well, I'm going to call you tomorrow and you let me know how you take it. Um, because if not, then maybe you think, oh, well, I'll follow up in a week or two that people have actually gone and ordered from somebody else because the person that gave them the sample didn't follow up like immediately. So keep that in right. mind. Um, two. Okay. So another question we had. Yeah. So, you know, that's what makes me nervous about doing, um, Kinsley mentioned the three day sample. I never, if somebody tells me they want to try a seven day sample, I steer them away. I steer them to the 30 day bag. The only way I will do a seven day sample is if we're running one of those challenge groups. And I was terrified to do that in the very beginning guys, because so many people detox in seven days and they feel like crap. And then they're like, this stuff doesn't work. But if you do it as part of a big challenge group, then they, there's a support system there. And they actually, even if they're detoxing, they see kind of the light at the end of the tunnel from other people in the group. Um, so that's the only way I even will let somebody do <laughs> kind of a seven day. Well, I'm, I'm in like a very small community and, yeah. um, so they, they want to be able to taste it. Um, we're all kind of low income over here and one sample to me, I just, I, I hate to tell them that they're probably not going to like it because everybody's, um, it's that stevia taste. And especially if they're addicted to pop, they're probably not going to like it that very first time. Right. And um, I know I didn't like it my first time, and I know a few people that have it. And so I hate to give them a sample and then not like it and then just, you know, throw it all out the door. Yeah. And yeah. It, I just don't know how to explain to them that, I mean, I've had some buy a seven-day sample, and they didn't like it the first day, but by day four, they were good. Right. Or they found what they needed to, to take it. When I tell so, somebody if they want a seven day, I'll just say, look, you know, those samples are really just for taste. 
Um, and I can tell you, I think it tastes like a, kind of a cherry Kool-Aid. Other people think it tastes like a cherry Tootsie Roll pop. Um, so I, what, uh, sorry, Amy, no, one of the things that I think we do to ourselves, and I'm sorry, my dogs are barking now. I'm a great, I'm a hot mess tonight. Um, but one of the things that I think we do to ourselves is also we make a lot of assumptions that about what we project. And I don't want to say assumptions. We project what we think onto others. And so I get into this um, often when I'm thinking about taste and also when I'm thinking about the income issue. Like I project the idea that I don't like the taste onto others. And right. so then I find myself justifying the taste and lots of the time, like I find that the people who don't like the flavor are like, you know, 5%. And most of the people aren't bothered by it at all. And so sometimes I feel like when we say, oh, well, it's just for the taste, da 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 I feel like um, if, I, if I just say, you know what, it tastes great. If yeah. you don't like stevia, you might notice the stevia flavor, but mm -hmm. otherwise it's going to be great. And so I feel like by... Um, by being cautious to not project, then we're not setting them up to dislike. Because by projecting that they might not like the flavor, then I think they're more likely to not like it. Or projecting that they're gonna think it's too expensive, then I think they're more likely to think it's too expensive. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to go back to, to Betsy's question one more time. One of the things I do, Betsy, is carry samples around. Um, so I always have a sample, especially if I'm mixing my drink. Um, at in a meeting or something because inevitably somebody's going to ask and so I am sometimes if I'm in a new market I'm intentional about when I mix that drink and I'm intentional about you know letting people see me mix that drink and so then when people are like hey what are you mixing up over there then I might be like oh you know it's this stuff you want to sample but that's when I'm with people that I like can know how to find them yeah. right so follow up with them later um, and then the other thing is um, you know, if I, if I know someone that I really think the products will help, I'll just pop a sample in the mail. I don't do it a ton of times, but sometimes there are people that I just believe wholeheartedly the product will help. And I'll just shoot them a message and be like, Hey, I put a sample of slim in the mail because I believe it's going to help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So somebody else asked, um, what do you say when somebody says I'm already healthy? I say, that's great. Plexus will just completely complement your healthy lifestyle. Um, you know, that's, that's why people who are holistic health coaches love our products because they're all natural or they're natural, they're non-GMO, they contain no artificial sweeteners, colors, um, or anything like that. So it would actually align really well with your healthy lifestyle. So I say something like that. And the other, I'm going to pull some others up here. I, I do have, I have a question. Okay. My medication is working just fine for me right now. Uh, so we we're going to say like, uh, like, met, like if they're on diabetes medication? Medication, high blood pressure medication. If they had fibromyalgia, that, that medication is working just fine. They don't need it. Yeah. That's a good one. So right off the cuff, I would say my medication's working fine for me. Uh, I usually add it if it has any side effects. Right. And I was trying to think how I would say it. I would say something like, you know, that's great. I'm glad it's working for you and it feels good, but what are the long-term side effects of that medication? Because, you know, like my husband, he was on gabapentin for his gout, but, and it worked great for him. However, the the damage that he's doing to his liver from that medication, especially long term, is very, very scary. And I'm so glad that he was able to get off of that and get relief on just the triplex by getting himself healthy. Plus, we save money now on the prescription. So I try to say something like that. Right. That's good. Okay, thank you. Yeah. One of the um, yeah, one of the I'd most say. common, not the most common, but one thing I hear a lot is. Uh, um, I've tried it in the past and it just didn't work. Or I tried it in the past and it gave me a headache. Yeah. I would say, oh, man. So you, I'd say, I'm sorry that, you know, you didn't think it worked for you. Our products absolutely work. I promise you, you probably just weren't on the right regimen and you didn't give it long enough. 
And I'd say, you know, I totally get it. Look, I was a diet junkie. I tried everything out there. If it didn't work in two or three weeks, I was on to the next thing. I promise you Plexus works if you're on the right regimen. And I would love to help you find what's going to work for you. Um, but you do have to stay on it a while. Uh, and I'd say, you know, a lot of people do get headaches. That tells us it's working. It's a detox symptom. It's crappy, but it means your body is getting rid of the junk and you're going to feel better when you come through the other side. So just by having that like belief in the products and if you tell them like you know they work and you believe it. Um, one thing I was going to say though real quick going back to that question about prescriptions or my medications working. If you don't have like if you can't relate to them personally like I did with Steve's medication. If you know somebody's story you can just say well you know my friend Steve or my friend Amy. Um, that's why it helps to really get to know other ambassadors and kind of know their stories because then you can always just say, oh, you know what, my friend Amy, her husband was the same way. He was on prescription and thought it was great. You know what I mean? So that way you always kind of have a couple handy for these common questions. Okay. So we get a lot of people and, you know, keep the questions coming. If I don't hear you guys or if you guys aren't chatting in a question, I'm going back to this list that some people have uh, <coughs> sent me. I'm just going to eat better and go to the gym. I'm going to say, oh, man, that's great. Um, you know, I love that you have a healthy lifestyle and going to the gym and eating healthy is awesome. Plexus certainly does not replace that. We actually want people to eat healthy and go to the gym. But that is not going to change your gut flora. That's not going to provide you a source of omegas. Nowadays, uh, you know, unless you grow your own food and you don't breathe the air that has pollution in it, everybody needs to be on a probiotic and, you know, a good multivitamin. You just can't get that nowadays. And then to kind of take it from there. Here's a good question. What is it? So maybe I'll give my little 30 second elevator speech and a couple of you guys can give yours because I know they're all a little different. So what is Plexus? Oh my gosh, you haven't heard of Plexus? You are missing out. We, Plexus, we have some of the best supplements in the industry. We are a health and wellness company. We're based in Arizona. All of our products are made in the USA. We have the best probiotic on the market, the best multivitamin on the market. Most of our products are vegetarian. They're all non-GMO and gluten-free. And depending on who I'm talking to, like I got this question at the, at the gym the other day. I was like, oh, we have the, one of the cleanest protein powders you can find. Um, no artificial sweeteners, um, grass-fed. So I kind of, I've started in my elevator speech starting off with, oh my gosh, you've not heard of Plexus? Oh, well, let me tell you. What else? Who else has an elevator speech real quick? I use yours. <laughs> I've heard you say that before, and I, I say the exact same thing. That works. I, you know, in the for a while, I would kind of stumble, be like, oh, we're a health and wellness company, or we have supplements. And then I thought that was kind of, kind of boring. I wasn't getting anybody to be like, oh, oh, really? So when I started saying, like, oh, you've not heard of Plexus? Well, let me tell you. Then they're like, oh, why haven't I heard of it? I must be missing out. It's like this psychological thing, you know? So, um, let's see. I have a question, Amy. Okay. Um, I, the past couple of weeks when I go grocery shopping, I see this lady, and I always go down the uh, slim fast aisle, just, you know, with my yep. get up on here. Yeah. My Plexus stuff. Yes. And you see people looking at slim fast and stuff like that. How do you approach somebody like that? If you see them sitting there reading the label, what would you say to them or would you... <laughs> Oh, man, I wish Michelle was on the call because she is great at approaching strangers. I am not. I still get tongue-tied, believe it or not. Um, so I, a couple of times, I know, like, Michelle has, it's not been slim fast, but she's been, like, someplace where she's seen people drink, buy a lot of pop. Mm -hmm. And she's just gone up and said, oh, my gosh, don't tell me that's all for you. And they're like, well, yeah. And she's like, well. If you ever want something that's, you know, isn't bad for your body, I would love to tell you about my drink. And she's just as bold like that. Um, I am not the person to ask. I still have to work on how I approach strangers. Because every time I go to the grocery store, I see somebody who has, like, the top of their cart. I'll never forget. It was full of Atkins shakes, and the bottom of their cart was full of Diet Coke. 
And I wanted to be like, oh man, I, I was you. I have been you. Like that has been my cart. But you have to be careful too because I'm always afraid, and this is me projecting, that they would be offended if right. I said something. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I don't know. That, those are hard. Now I have heard, I have been around people, like I was at Home Depot one day, and I heard two people talking about an illness. And I have said, I've approached them and said, look, I don't mean to eavesdrop, but a friend of mine has your same issues and she has found relief with this and I would love to tell you more about it. But, you know, when you see people buying slim fast, it's just like when your friends on Facebook are posting that they're tired and exhausted and overweight. Um, mm -hmm. Even though they put all that out there for you to see and they're complaining about it, they still would be really offended if you send them a private message and like, you know right. what I mean? So it, that's touchy. Uh, I kind of have a solution, Marcy. I have done, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, I've kind of done something like that in Kroger's. I'll just go down that aisle and I'll see them looking at something and I'll, I'll stop like right before them and like maybe genuinely interested in something that I see and I'll say, Elliot, and I'll say, um, have you tried these before? You know, like some type of protein bar or something, just kind of like get them talking and I've found just by doing that, people open up to you like, yeah, I've actually, my kids have tried that protein bar and they really like it. Oh yeah. So then you make like that casual conversation and then I slip in there. Yeah. You know, I started this health and wellness, you know, product and it's really helped me change my life. And then I kind of go into it from there and I get a good response by just doing that simple thing, like interacting with them about a product nearby or something that they're looking at. and then you know, making small talk and then inserting plexus into the conversation that way. That's a good idea. Um, Cause I, I thought kind of something like that, but then I thought, I don't want her to think I'm looking at slim fast and here I've got plexus shirt on and you know, so that's a good idea. Good idea. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm going to skip. Okay. So um, I get, it's a scam, right? So what I say, it's a scam. Oh man, I totally thought it was a scam. Listen, I was a network marketing snob. I wanted nothing to do with a network marketing company. I thought I was too good for it. I was educated. They were pyramid schemes. But let me tell you, I was completely wrong once I did my research. We are nothing more than online shopping and our business model happens to be one of the most profitable in the business. You know, we have a 60 day return um, and our company is debt free. We would not be debt free if our products didn't work. So it's certainly not a scam. It's certainly not a pyramid. Pyramid schemes are illegal. They actually have no product being exchanged. We are no different than Avon or Tupperware. People just shop online nowadays. So what I said, and this is what I've used the last couple of times, is um, I said, well, t the word scam indicates that you're not getting what you're paid for. Mm -hmm. And so I just say, you know, what I was expecting to get when I signed up for Plexus was hopefully some help with my health and wellness, you know, some more energy, maybe some better sleep. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I signed up for, and that's what I paid for. And here I am eight months later, and I've not only gotten that, but I've also, you know, and I'll, I'll start with, you know, my thyroid's in better shape. It's not going to need to be removed. Um, right. I'm sleeping better. My moods are better. So in all essence, on top of that, now I'm, you know, working the business. I'm financially a little bit better off. So I've gotten my money's worth and more. So it's not a scam. And if it is a scam, then I'm the naive one because I'm still doing it. And I'm doing really well with it. And I love my products. So I would say, you know, a scam would indicate to me that you're not getting what you paid for. And I definitely did. Right. But I hear that. A lot of times I'll say, too. You know, a lot of times I'll even say, like, look, I thought it was too, but you know me. I would not be involved in anything that is a scam. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, I depending upon who the person is. Like, if it's a stranger, obviously that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, a lot of times, too, depending on who the person is, sometimes I even get, you know, a little bit, um, not cocky is the word, but a little maybe overconfident and say, like you said, well, one, I wouldn't be involved in a scam, and two, if it's a scam, it's the best scam ever. Like I'm off my medication and you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I use that too. I have a lot of people on my, um, in my team now that are from high school, like are my high school classmates. 
Um, and I, I think the other day I used something because our, our reunion is coming up this summer, which is scary thinking. But, um, you know, I said something the other day to a classmate who was like, you know, I think this is a scam. And I said, really? Well, then I'm going to have to answer to our whole entire, you know, class of 96 in a couple of weeks when I go to the reunion because, you know, I've got like 25 of them on my team. You know, it's not a scam. And um, But I, I really just break it down to the definition of scam. And, it, and it, if you think of scam as what you're not getting what you paid for, and then you list what you what you were trying to, to get out of the product when you started. And most of us have that and much more. And that just kind of lays it out. Right. Okay. Other questions? We had a, let's see, we had a couple, oh, couple more come up. I just can't work it in my budget right now. Look, I get it. I know when budgets are tight. You know, I thought the same thing that I, there was no way I could afford a hundred dollars. However, if you really do want to change your health and you want to feel better, I would encourage you to over the next few weeks, look at where you're spending your money and write down everything you buy. And if you find yourself maybe going in, out to lunch or grabbing a diet Coke or a coffee, those things add up. And if you are willing to you know, stop those things for a while, you would be surprised that you can, you can probably afford Plexus. Um, I think the best thing about be, that is I think that they think, they don't realize that their eating habits are going to change and they're going to be going, you know, less over here and you're going to be, you know what I mean? Because they well, feel like they're going to be spending everything they did before plus this. And it's well, just that's true. And, and that's like what I said earlier, that if someone had told me I would have quit coffee, I'd have said, I'm not quitting coffee. I'd answer that only after I'd, I've talked to them and I made the recommendation like on triplex and they said I can't work it into my budget. But then you can always, like if somebody legitimately cannot afford it, but I think it can change their world, I will tell them then to buy a bottle of probiotic. You can, you know, you, can you fit in a $30 bottle of probio? Um, and then go from there. Because I really, I would much rather somebody buy the bottle of probiotic and get some relief than to not buy anything at all. Yeah. Won't that bloat them, Amy, without the biocleans? What? Won't that bloat them without the biocleans? Not necessarily. I mean, it's certainly not as effective, but it is a standalone. They can take it, um, you know, on its own. Okay. Um, how does it compare to Advocare or Thrive? Um, or I'm already on it and I love it. Well, let's go first. How does it compare? I like to say, you know, we can't, it's like apples to oranges. We're completely different. A lot of those other companies are weight loss companies. Plexus is not a diet. You don't have to change how you eat. We're not a challenge. We're not a shake. We're not a meal replacement. We are about total body health and wellness. It just so happens that for the majority of people, when your body is healthy, you lose weight. Um, and the good thing is it's the right way to lose it. So you're actually going to keep it off. Now I had somebody come to me recently who asked about Plexus because she had tummy issues. I said, okay, here's what you need. And she said, well, I'm on Advocare and I'm not stopping it and I'm not stopping my spark. And I said, well, I'm going to be hundred percent honest with you. Then Plexus is not going to work for you. You are killing your gut with your spark and your Advocare. I knew what she told me what she was on and showed me the labels. I said, you are fine to continue that. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. If you want caffeine and artificial sweeteners and you want a stimulant in your pill, that's fine. However, if you want your tummy to get better and your IBS to go away, you really need to stop doing that and you can start on Plexus. So I was really blunt with her because I thought it's not going to do any good for her to continue doing that and start doing BioCleanse and ProBio, and then she's going to think Plexus doesn't work. So for a lot, you know, if they're already on it, um, I, I'm just honest with them. If they're already on it and they don't inquire about Plexus, let's say maybe you reach out to them and they say, well, I'm already on Advocare. I'd say, hey, that's great. If that's working for you, that's fantastic. If you ever want something, though, that's not full of stimulants and caffeine and artificial sweeteners, you know, you just let me know. Because I know for me, those ended up having more problems in the long run for me. That kind of thing. Like, you can say that nicely, right, I think? Maybe. 
So, and also, I mean, it goes to show that if they're already on one of those products and they're asking about Plexus, there's got to be something that it's not doing for them. Right. Exactly. And, you know, a lot of times, don't get hung up in what the other company does. I see a lot of people, a lot, we ask, like, okay, how's it compared to Avocare and Thrive and Isogenics? And there's just so many diets out there. If you know Plexus and you know what makes us so great, you can say, well, look, I don't know anything about Avocare, but here's what I know about Plexus. Or I don't know anything about Thrive, but here's what I know about Plexus and here's what makes us great. That way you don't have to spend your time or get worried like, oh my gosh, I don't know anything about Avocare. Just focus on Plexus. Okay. Let's see if there's any more here in the chat. A good speech about Triplex and why everyone and why we should suggest it. Um, so what I usually say is, look, I don't know any doctor out there or any professional in the medical field that does not recommend a probiotic nowadays. Just because of antibiotics, birth control, pollution, chemicals in our food, our gut flora is completely out of whack. And the only way to change that is with a good probiotic. So I think everyone should be on a probiotic. Um, our triplex combo is a powerhouse when you mix the bio cleanse with the probio to make sure everything's efficient. And then getting those blood sugar those blood sugars balanced. If you do any research into blood sugars, you can see that it causes you know everything from disturbed sleep, low energy. You ever get hangry? You know that afternoon hangriness. That is because your blood sugars are spiking. Um, so I just think everyone can benefit from balanced blood sugars and and you know changing their gut health. And you can do your own research. You can do your own research into a leaky gut and blood sugars. Anybody else have a better response to that one? I, I usually go with, um, especially if I'm in a chat, I pull up the one chart that has, I, I, I can't think of how to, the one that's got the three columns of, um, that I had to change candida off of, that just mm -hmm. says yeast overgrowth. I use that, and then I also ask them to look at their tongue. And I know the tongue isn't a tell-all sign, but so many people can look at their tongue and see that coating oh. there, and that's yeah, an indication, yeah. especially to go along with that chart. Yeah. And then they realize that they need more than just the slim drink, that they need to address the yeast. I think the two of those have worked for me sure. personally. Yeah. And a lot of people don't realize, you know, why, and why they need a probiotic. So then I have some people who will say, well, I eat clean. I'm all, I'm all organic. And I'll even say, well, did you know that if you have one round of antibiotics, it messes up your gut balance for an entire year? And I'll say, you know, my daughter, she's two and a half, and man, she's already been on several rounds of antibiotics. Um, and I know I was as a kid. So even though we eat healthy, that's still not going to increase the good bacteria and get rid of the bad bacteria and, and rebalance that for us. I, I get that a lot with beach body people. I happen to have like a whole slew of beach body um, shakeology people on my friends list. But what's interesting is they're very good at like posting all these videos of them getting all sweaty and working out. And that's awesome. Um, but I'll tell you, most of them haven't changed. One, it doesn't look like they've, they've changed their physique at all. And I'm t they've been doing it for years, two years or more. And they post these videos every morning of them just getting done with their nice, sweaty 22 minute workout. Like I said, I think exercising is great, but I always ask people, you know, why are you still not losing weight? And it's probably because you've hit that plateau and you need to get rid of the yeast. So I, in all honesty, I, I'm working right now to try to get um, two of my beach body people to incorporate um, Plexus in because it's, it, I mean, it doesn't hurt them if they want to keep with their shake -o and replace one of their meals with that. But if they address the yeast, they could actually do both. Yeah, and, um, yeah I've got a lot of them too. I'm like, you don't have to stop. Right. And yeah, fact, it's not an either or. You don't have to choose one. You could actually do both and it would address both things because you'd still be eating clean and exercising, which is always good. But this way you would get your blood sugar and your yeast under control also. Because it always seems like they're doing like a willpower thing. Anyway, it's funny, we had, um, going back to the three-way calls, uh, I did a three-way call and the person had ordered Triplex, right? So you would assume she's excited to get started. The minute I got on the phone, she was my level two, the minute I got on the phone and her, my level one introduced me, she said, just so you know, I am not stopping my Shakeology. I was like, oh, okay. She was very offensive, like right off the bat, you know, and I just told her, I said, hey, that's awesome. You don't have to. I drank Shakeology. We have tons of people that drink Shakeology and Slim. And immediately she was like, oh, I don't? Okay. Okay, yeah, this is great. I can do this. 
but part of me was like, man, if we had never had that phone call, she would have had that chip on her shoulder the whole time she was trying plexus. Um, so anyway, another prop to the three-way call. Um, one question here, how does it compare to Thrive? So I would do the same thing. I would focus on how plexus is different. Thrive, the only thing I know about it, they have tons of products, but their one product that most people use, it's a patch. It's like a, it's a patch you put on your arm. It delivers caffeine and other stimulants right through the skin. Um, and so again, most of those diet products are going to be full of caffeine and artificial sweeteners, which is kind of the big, um, and plus we're not a diet. That's kind of the big thing for Plexus, you know, and it's hard too, because even though Plexus has amazing health results and health testimonies, 95% of the people start it because they want to lose weight. Even the people you see that have amazing health testimonies, they'll tell you they only started because they wanted to lose weight. So it's hard sometimes to convince somebody the great thing about flexes is the health changes because either people aren't thinking that way or they've been sick for so long they don't think it, they don't think it could change their health. Um, so that's kind of tricky, I think, sometimes. Um, is it just as effective for men? Absolutely. That's a great thing about plexus. We are not specific to any gender or age or, um, you know, population. We work for everybody. Gut health is gut health no matter – your age or anything. So, and same with, you know, balanced blood sugars and omegas and our vitamin, they're good for everybody. All right, a couple more questions. So here's one, I've gotten this before. Do I have to take it forever? And I'll say, absolutely not. You don't have to do anything forever, but just like, you know, eating breakfast or just like, um, the, and I'm thinking of somebody I was talking to recently, just like those protein shakes you do every day, you're going to feel better when you're on it. And so you're not going to want to stop taking it, but no, you don't have to do anything forever. I mean, which is true. Can't make anybody take anything. Um, so then right away, you know, they kind of have that, again, that chip on their shoulder, like I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to do it forever. Oh, yeah, thanks. So Katrina said what, what convinced her to choose between Thrive and Plexus was the gut health. They didn't address that, so she just thought she would share. Well, that's good. And then let's do just a couple more. I want to be respectful of everybody's time. Um, so here's one I get a lot. Just send me some more information. I don't ever do that. I go right into what are your health goals, what are your health issues, what medications are you on. Um, because we have way too many products to send anybody information on and they would just get completely overwhelmed. And what you want to do with people is you want to build belief in Plexus and how it can help them individually. You don't want to sell them on how great our vitamin is or how great our omega is if that's not going to apply to them. So you really want to know what their health goals are and then you can focus on exactly what's going to help them and how it's going to help them. If you build their belief, in them and they can see how their health could be changed for them specifically, then they're going to be more likely to try it anyway. If you just send them like the product video that goes through all the products, they're not going to really know from seeing that how it's going to help them and apply to them. And I, and I love the product video, don't get me wrong, but I always try to engage around their own individual health goals or any medications they're on. Um, what was the other one here? Oh, Stacy, we hit the one about the men. Did you have anything to add? I just said the great thing about it is, you know, we're not specific to any gender or population. Gut health is, is gut health. Um, oh, okay, let's hear this one. Um, I don't want to back order. I don't want to back up order or an auto ship. So this one, I think a lot of this comes from us projecting onto them that we think that they're going to have a problem with the backup order. When I have a new ambassador join, it's not even an option. I tell them they have to do it as part of the sign-up step. And then I say, nothing, nothing ships, nothing charges. Next month, if you don't want it, you can log in and turn it off. And, I, and that's all I say. I don't try to explain it to a brand new ambassador when they're signing up because that's just going to confuse them any more, even more. And since it doesn't apply to them, that first month, it's not going to make any difference. Now, if they, you know, if they say, well, I don't want an auto, if they say, well, I don't want an auto ship, that, that's not my thing. I'll say, hey, that's great. That is one of the perks about being an ambassador. You can get the wholesale prices and you do not have to have an auto ship on. 
Whereas if you're a preferred customer, you do have to have a, an auto ship on to get the preferred price. So it's actually a perk to being an ambassador. You can get the wholesale price and you never have to have an auto ship. All right, any other questions? It's 8.35, we've been on an hour. Nobody? It can be a crazy question you've had. Don't be shy, I, I went through the list from earlier. I don't see anything else. Uh, I get um, about the Garcinia Cambogia in it. Okay. Like, um, and the other one that I get too is the random um, DMAA thing, but I know there's a blurb about it. I have that copied somewhere so I can whip it out if I need to. Okay, so let me do those and let me get this one real quick. Katrina asked, do you have to sell it to buy it? And I say, no, nope, absolutely not. That's what I love about Plexus. We have about 2,000 people on our team and you guys can use this. We have about 2,000 people on our team. And about 1,600 of them don't sell a thing. They are only in it for the discount. We call them our wholesale ambassadors. You absolutely do not have to um, sell it to buy it. The other thing about Plexus, now this isn't something you want to scream from the rooftops because you really want your ambassadors working the business to be a product of the product. But the other cool thing about Plexus is you actually don't have to buy your own product to sell it. A lot of MLMs make you buy like a $1,000 startup kit or a $600 consultant kit um, to get started. Plexus doesn't, you pay your $34.95 and you can start your business, which is pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, the Garcinia Cambogia, I say yes, I totally understand that. Those, um, those warnings that are out there about GC are for those diet pills that have super high doses. Ours does not. Our Garcinia Cambogia is part of a blend. It is a very small amount, and we actually have it in there to help with uh, cholesterol levels. So I would I'd say that. And then the DMAA. So for those of you guys who don't know this, let me give you a little bit of backstory. You may have people who Google Plexus, and the first thing they're gonna click on is Crazy Betty's blog. If you, if you Google it, don't click on her blog, because then that just increases her traffic when we click on it. <laughs> so just don't click on it. Um, she pay, she's a competitor. She pays to have her blog come up when people Google Plexus. If you go on YouTube and you search YouTube for the Plexus elephant in the room, there's a great video that explains Pink Betty. Okay, so that one you can click on and watch it. But on her blog, she has tons of information. This is where people find this. Um, back in 2010, 2011, Accelerator contains geranium extract. It's the plant, the one my parents used to have geraniums all over the place at their house. The Australian and Canadian government at the time had a ban on DMAA. They thought that Accelerator contained DMAA because the chemist, the chemist, the chemical, what's it called? The chemical structure of DMAA and geranium extract was similar. So they banned Accelerator from Australia and Canada. However, we told them that's not true. We don't contain DMAA. They tested it. They said, oops, our bad. You don't contain DMAA. The ban was lifted. However, Pink Betty doesn't put that on her blog. And so the only thing people find is that we're banned in Australia and Canada. That couldn't be further from the truth. We have Australian and Canadian ambassadors. We ship and we have, you know, um, businesses in Australia and Canada. Um, and then, uh, and then outside of that, the next year, the developer of Accelerator, the, uh, his name's John, I can't remember his last name, uh, they just call him Dr. John, he actually reformulated the Accelerator completely to make it better. He found, he found more things that he liked better, and so it was reformulated. So it doesn't even have geranium extract in there anymore. It had nothing to do with the DMAA ruling, however, you will see people make the conclusion that, oh, they banned it, so Plexus took it out of their formula. That's not, that's not true either. Um, Penny, my friend told me there's stuff illegal in it that will make me fail a drug test. Yes and no. No, there's absolutely nothing in it that's illegal. However, there is one of the plant extracts in Accelerator that is like a poppy seed. 
So it won't make you fail a drug test, it'll show up maybe as an opiate, just like a poppy seed would. However, the chance of that is so small, it's even smaller than a poppy seed showing up on a test. Um, I've not known anybody to actually have that happen. And if it does, they will ask you if you've had any of that. It's just like if you ate a poppy seed muffin, you would tell them, oh, I ate a poppy seed muffin. Um, hey. In the knowledge base in the back office, it starts with an H, the ingredient. And I don't think I have a, sorry, I see my armpit. I don't hey. Hey, so Go ahead. One of my uh, level twos is, an, uh, is a drug tester. He owns a company, and mm -hmm. I think he's on his second month. So I'll reach out to him and see what he thinks about that. Yeah, here, let me, um, it's called Hornadine. Um, if you haven't been in your back office, go check it out. There's tons of good stuff in there. It is called Hornadine. Yep. yep, Hornadine. No. Yeah. Yeah. It comes from barley. Yep. It's a naturally occurring supplement. It's commonly found in barley. It could show up as a false positive for opiates. Um, same as if you had a poppy seed muffin. Yeah, but Amy, didn't you say that um, they know, they recognize it, so it's not even really a false positive. It can trigger a drug screen, but when they read it, they know what triggered it. Right. So it doesn't not even illegal. come up as a false positive. Right. It's not illegal, and it's not even an opiate, so. I'm just going to buy off eBay and Amazon. Well, good luck because you have no idea who you're buying from. It could be expired, it could be opened, and you're not covered by any guarantees from the company. You will not get your money back if you don't like it. Um, plus, you don't get the support of uh, kind of a health coach as myself to help you. Amy, I had somebody yesterday that came up for a drug screen I was doing, and she had a shaker bottle, and I said, is that? Is that Plexus? And she said, that's not, but I do take Plexus. Well, after talking to her, um, comes out she couldn't pee, so she was there for about an hour and a half. So we talked the whole time about Plexus, but she actually buys hers from Amazon. And I said, oh my gosh, how much do you pay for it there? And she said, it's about $140, $150. I said, oh my gosh, I pay $109 a month for mine. And she said, really? I said, yeah, I said, and we have all kinds of support. I said, Do you, and, and talking with her, she had no idea as to even what it was, how it worked, how it helped her body, nothing. Oh, my so, God. You know, needless to say, we threw a friend's request to her real quick on Facebook, and I just, we were chatting. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I just don't know how people will do that, how they buy something that they don't even know what it is, and they're just taking it, and they don't know what it does for them. You know, and come to find out she wasn't taking it the way she's supposed to take it or, you know, anything. So, it yeah. my mind. That's I have one that did that too. Same thing. You know, I talked to her for several months because she's been in, she was in pain and having all kinds of health problems. And when I finally went and checked up on her again, she said, oh, I just went and bought it on eBay. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, because, you know, then I want to support them. You know, I want to put them in like the Plexus Wellness so they at least get some support and maybe be because of that support she'll order through the through me then but it's so frustrating yeah and then you know i mean if i'm really if i i know the person really well i'm gonna be like what are you doing like you can help support me <laughs> instead of some <laughs> random person you don't know on amazon <laughs> well this person got it a lot cheaper and i i don't really know why i would suspect that on ebay it's probably people that aren't using the products anymore and selling them off because if they're truly ambassadors they wouldn't be on ebay right i mean that's just my assumption but oh, yeah. i know she just got slim and she really needed to have triplex she really i mean there's there was no question that triplex would have helped her so the slim didn't do a whole, whole lot for her and she, then then it, it was ruined for her she didn't want to try anything else because she didn't get a good result from what she got and oh, like you said who knows it could be expired you never know Shelly said someone, she lost a potential because the person got the triplex from eBay for 50 bucks. Yeah. I would call that person, I would not even take that. <laughs> because, I mean, whoever's selling on eBay is not even getting their money out of it. So, who knows? They, eh, I'd be nervous. That's kind of like what mine was. Mine, mine got hers slim on, on eBay for, I think, like $45. Yeah, that's and, 
it had to have been somebody that had quit and just isn't, you know, was just trying to offload whatever yeah. they had. Well, anytime, you guys, anytime you guys see stuff like that, you can report it to compliance. It's just, there's so many compliance has trouble keeping up with all of them, but they're, you know, they can, they'll get in trouble. They're not supposed to be able to do that. Hey, on a side, can I ask a question? It's kind of off, but um, I noticed when I put it into my Google Play Store thing on my phone, if you put in Plexus, there are people who have designed apps on, on their phone so that it comes up as Plexus, but it's actually an ambassador that you would order through. Is that not, is that fair game or no? Is that, I don't know. Is that I mean, I assume it would just go to their website. I'm not sure the point of that. It probably is compliant. Um, if it uses the company name, because I know even when like with if you do an LLC, you can't have Plexus in the name of your LLC kind of thing. Yeah, like if you if I were to go into like Google Play and put a search in for like an app, like I did it the other day because I wondered if there was a back office app. And um, when I put in Plexus, it brings up other people's Plexus app or whatever, and it makes it look like you're buying Plexus from Plexus, but you're actually buying it from that ambassador. Yeah. Yeah. It's a clever Christine, marketing thing, but I didn't know if it was even legal with compliance. Christine, I don't think it is. And the other thing you'll see is that if you search for Plex and Plexus coupon code in yeah, Google, yeah. you can get them. You get uh, hooked that way, too. Like, okay. it'll take you to sites that look like somebody's, like, Plexus. Um, it looks like back office or whatever the main page, but it's somebody's personal site. And what mm -hmm. they, they overlay um, their home page so that it looks – so it routes there, mm -hmm. uh, but it's the coupon code, you find it that way. So if anybody Googles Plexus coupon code, they might get routed to a different ambassador. Absolutely. And that's, um, not, that's not cool either. Like whoever's doing that, I would, I mean, because, you know, unfortunately not every ambassador is ethical and like, I don't think that's, that's not something they should be doing. <laughs> so. All right. I have loved this call. I'm just, I just want to say. All right. So I'm going to stop recording. I think that's it. You know, if you guys have other questions, write them down and we can do this, we can do this call again for sure. All right. All right. Thanks guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.